Well, it is how the amount of federal dollars North Carolina gets, how many representatives we send to Congress, how we plan for everything from infrastructure to housing. The U.S. Census. Community volunteers started today to encourage people to fill out the form, but it also comes with a question of how to do that and stay safe from the coronavirus. When Faith, Janiah, and Diamond decided to use their spring break to volunteer to encourage people to fill out their census forms, they had no idea that their time out of class would be extended due to the coronavirus. I chose to do this because I want to become a better citizen in my community. So far, the door knocking to encourage people to respond to the census continues, but not without plenty of awareness. We take the census seriously, but we also take the health and well-being of our advocates very seriously. The nonprofit NC Counts Coalition works in tandem with the U.S. Census. Because of coronavirus, uh, we have sent out a notice to our partners encouraging them to utilize online platforms, social media, um, emails to continue to promote the census. And as they speak to folks at their neighborhood doorstep, Hi. Hello. Volunteers like these ECU students are being told to use the same caution and follow the same hygiene routine the rest of us are being told to use. We're going to be going back home. So we're also going to be, in, you know, around family members that's like older, have heart problems. And I know that's people who are really just, I guess, is more susceptible to coronavirus. In the meantime, if you don't feel comfortable answering the door, that's okay. Since this day is April 1st, 2020, however, once households receive this invitation in the mail, they can go on ahead and complete the census online, over the phone, or they can wait until April when they will actually receive a census form and return it in the mail. So that you can stay healthy and still be counted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can learn a lot more about the 2020 census at 2020census.gov.